it for the Oscars. I don't give a fuck about anything Howard has to say. I am only here to plug this show. It's the only reason I come on this show. The only reason. I'm not here to talk to Howard or that little slut robber. No, no, no. The only reason that I'm on the Howard Stern Show is to plug that I will be on Fashion Police on E the day after the Oscars. And they're making me do this. All right, Joan Rivers is here. Joan probably has a lot to say about Conan O'Brien and Jay Leno. After all, if you remember your history lessons, Joan Rivers was the hottest thing in late night television. So hot, she got bigger ratings than Johnny Carson. So Fox hired her to actually launch her own late night show. It didn't work out so well. But uh, this went down many years ago, so she's no stranger to what goes on in late night Well, let's find out what she thinks is going to happen to Jay going back. I think they should cut Jay's nuts off. I mean, did she go back to Fox? Did she hang around after they bumped her off? No. Hello. Joan did what Jay should have done. Yeah. Yes, what? (laughs) What? What? Yes, Yes, but what? What? Yes, hello, hello. Hello, Hello, hello. darling. You look fantastic. Absolutely. I look like a fat old pig. Hey, let me, you do not look like a fat old pig. What? Thank you can't lose weight? Can't lose weight. Put those headphones on. That's your microphone. I can't lose weight, but at, th- at this... You're so uh, thin. Oh, please. At this age, though... What do you weigh? Can I ask? I, yeah, I used to weigh 107. I was so happy. Right. And now, literally, I'm 116, and I want to kill myself. And my pants don't zip, and you just want to kill yourself. When you're liposuction com- um, a possibility? Oh, I don't, at this age, you take liposuction, it all just falls down. <laughs> when you're completely nude, I mean, I'm sure you get nude uh, in front of the mirror and take a look. Yeah. Do you see a paunchy belly? Do I see... Yes. What I do you see, see? I see like I never had a stomach in my life, and now I have this big stupid stomach. You have a belly. Yes. Uh, like a pot belly? Is it tight uh, at least? It's the worst. It's higher up. It's like those women that look like pigeons. And you don't have any shape anymore. You lost that little. Oh, the, curve. the, the waist went. <laughs> the waist went to what near thirty? But 30s. I think it may be because I'm pregnant. I want to announce on your show. You know, you I talk... haven't had my period. I just have to do this show. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was laughing. <laughs> I stepped on I, it. I think I'm pregnant. How it asked me why. Why are you so pregnant? I haven't had my period for 2,400 months. <laughs> that would mean you're pregnant. When you don't get your period anymore, Joan, I'm not I'm not a, a gynecologist, but I believe you're right. I believe you are pregnant. I thought of that this morning. Uh, I just I have to say that. Go but, ahead. But Joan, well, then you know why the belly. <laughs> that's right. You're, that's your baby bump. Joan, you even see these women now. And, I mean, you're a proponent of plastic surgery. You've always said, look, yes. if you don't feel good about yourself and there's a, a way to change it, you change it. If you don't like the wrinkles in your face, you pull back a little bit. Right. In uh, fact, Joan has said whether you don't like them or not, you should not have the wrinkles in your face. Right, so yeah. you don't offend other people. <laughs> That's yeah. right. It's not about you, it's about people you. throwing up. <laughs> right. Uh, you, you've been, uh, have you spoken yet about this girl, Heidi Montag, yes. who was like 20, 21 years old yeah. and went and got not only breast augmentation, which lots of girls do, but she made them unusually big. She I think she even had like 16 procedures on her face at 21. Do you think that's going too far? Uh, I thought she was stupid to talk about it. Right. Because uh, when you really look at the procedures, she did Restylane, which is a filler. She did Botox. You know, she did a couple of big things. Right. But they all do it. Right. She was just an idiot to talk. I've done it. You mean, what you're telling me is in Hollywood, a lot of young girls are doing this kind of stuff. Oh. We just don't know about it. Yeah. For example, you'd see actresses on film. I don't think there's one of them that hasn't had a nose job. I, I agree. I mean, you look at certain people, and I don't mean to hurt her feelings. You look at Goldie Hawn. You don't recognize her from the first movie. Yeah, uh, Carol <laughs> Burnett, cha- we right. all change. Right, and you have to stay young looking. Young looking, and the nose should be a little bit. I saw somebody yesterday in an old movie. I thought, who is that? Oh, that's her before the nose job. Who, like Jennifer Aniston had a little Jennifer shave. Jennifer Aniston down. had a little shave. Well, right. she's so unhappy. Right. She Doesn't seems unhappy to she me. She should go get a smile put on her oh, face. Oh, you know, it's 92 <laughs> years. Take a douche and move on. Who were we talking about this morning that had some plastic surgery that looked a little bit odd? Oh, we were talking about some guys. Yeah, guys. Oh, sometimes it's a big careful. mistake. you got to be very careful for guys. Yeah, Robert about- Redford. Robert Redford. Oh. You know who he is? Yeah, we, oh, that was a shame. I thought that was my my uh, Tanta Helen. That was Booby. My Booby. No, but you, but like even I see Al Pacino's pulled back. He doesn't look as masculine anymore. You know, they should do it. What I always say: 
little bitty increments. Mm-hmm. Right, slowly. You don't see it happening. Absolutely. Now, uh, well, actually, we were supposed to call Joan something else this morning. We were going to say we had Kim Yunnan here. Some people thought you looked like Kim Yunnan from the Olympics with your, with your recent surgeries. But, I look uh, like the poor guy that was killed on the loose. Yeah. You, you look like the Empress of Korea. But I think you look terrific. I think you're an inspiration. Like, even my mother always says to me, my mother's an older, older than you. Nobody's she said, older than me. No, my mother is. I found the one person. <laughs> and she even says to me, boy, that Joan Rivers looks glamorous. I know, I yeah, know. Yeah, how come I'm sitting here alone? You know, talk about your dating. I understand, and I don't know if this is a rumor. A lot of stuff gets in the press, and you don't know if it's real. You were recently on a date where during the date the guy dropped dead. You're now dating guys who die in the middle of yes, the day. Yes, I, I don't make, But that's a successful yes, relationship. Yes, you. Yeah, <laughs> you can't say he left you. Yeah, you. And you miss him now. I miss him desperately. He was great. I pick up the check. How long had you been dating this guy where he dropped out of the I've been dating this man about five weeks. It was like just beginning. It was a new romance. It was kind of a new romance, and he died. Oh, right. man. Had he already paid the bill? No. No. It was terrible. What happened? Where were you? I'm curious. We were in a very fancy restaurant. I'm like, say the New name York. of the restaurant. It was similar to the one that you got married in. Uh, so why wouldn't you say? It certainly wasn't well, the food they, don't they like it. Them. First of all, Le Cirque, which is such a fabulous restaurant, right. they don't like you to say that old, you know. Right. You don't like to check your coat and see walkers. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you go on a date. Yeah. You, you've known the guy five weeks. You haven't been intimate with him yet. No. I, you know, I mean, at this well, point. We, maybe we have. We both forgot. <laughs> <laughs> right. But had you been, I mean, you were just. Uh, no, it's still like he. He had met me, and then two weeks later, they ask you out. You know, that kind right. of thing. Right. He'd kissed you, maybe? Well, ugh. Let's not go there. You don't want to kiss all the guys. Uh, <laughs> Is it gross? Like, like, you have to date older guys now. Yeah. Like, how old was this guy who you were dating? Probably... Uh, 74, 75. Right. Is it like, because inside you feel like a young woman. Yeah. Can you Do you look at these guys and go, I can't believe I'm kissing a 74-year-old guy? No, because he's thinking the same thing, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's honest. He's thinking, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> look at what it's come <laughs> I hope my eyes are going to see. <laughs> ah. <laughs> do, that's, have that's, you dated anyone who's used a walker? No, not yet. No. But, <laughs> but they turned me on now. <laughs> so this guy's 70, a walker turns you on. <laughs> Maybe you can incorporate that into the sex, the, the walker itself. You see a guy that he's, look at how nicely he decorated his walker. So, so you see this 74-year-old guy, and okay, it's companionship is what you're saying. In we're other having words, a very good time, and he's from out of town, and we're having a very nice time. Right, how'd you meet this guy? Uh, through a friend of mine, a mutual friend who said, you're really going to like him, the wife died, right. and he, he scattered the ashes, and he cried, and he was a nice man. Right, in other words, he had, he had, he had some compassion. He wasn't like the typical guy who's just going to fuck you and leave you. And very, well, yeah. these, this age, that can't happen. It takes him four days. <laughs> it takes four days just to fuck you. Yeah, right. so they, they're, they're No one can fuck you and leave you. <laughs> Impossible. Just working age. their way in takes two days. Yeah, the it's only like, thing that upsets me yeah. is when they, the moment of climax, they usually call it the nurse's thing. <laughs> Why is it difficult to get inside of you? Because you're naturally dry now? You don't lubricate? Dry. Oh, yeah, dry. Two Arabs. <laughs> you have Arabs living in your vagina. <laughs> That's how dry you are? Wow. Wow. That's amazing. No, but seriously, in other so words, you have died. to... So So you're on the date. On the date. At a fancy restaurant. Yes. And you're sitting there talking, have a nice conversation. And he's very quiet. Well, <laughs> and he's... He slumped over in the chair? Kind of slumped over. Oh, my God. When was this? This is about seven months ago. How this long is... do you keep talking before you well, say, well... Knowing me, I was in the middle of a good story. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? She, she's very narcissistic. She was like, she oh. didn't really notice that she was he wasn't eating, contributing. She was looking around the restaurant, <laughs> looking at her phone. She, she, you know. I thought Jesus small eater. <laughs> Did you? Write, hey, this guy doesn't eat that much. Do you? Do you right away note? Seriously, I want you to be oh, honest. I, no, no jokes. Do you notice it was right away? Horrible. He's, he just got very quiet. And you yeah. notice. Uh oh. <laughs> and, and he closes his eyes. No, his eyes were open. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to laugh. It's a ter- But were you Ooh. traumatized? Well, you say, I, I think we better get a waiter here. And you I get think the waiter. We better get somebody very quickly. And they get the emergency room. But right. it was too late. And they called the paramedics. I mean, it was a whole big thing. Right. They called paramedics. And he was. What gone. do they do? Throw a tablecloth over him? Uh, it's very interesting because people keep eating. <laughs> do they? <laughs> Were you were you embarrassed? I mean, I know well, you shouldn't be, but I know not, you're worried I'm just about terribly it. Terribly sorry. No, I like it. Show business, my right. life. Show business. You say, hey, this guy's great. He's getting Ooh, me attention. Press. Maybe we could do a reality show with this guy. We go on different dates, and he'll die each week. Call Entertainment Tonight. Right. In the middle of my grief, I powder my nose. Right. So when all the people are staring and stuff, and you then don't. The paramedics you, took him out. 
And they don't he, say he's dead. No, he's going to say he's dead. Right. And they say he's, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. You knew, but you knew it in the back I, of your well, mind. Well, yeah, and I, I had to reach in his pocket to get the American Express card. I was going to ask you that. Like, so do the, does the restaurant ask you to pay the bill? They didn't ask me, but... Uh, <laughs> what do you do? They followed us out to the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? Come on, tell me the truth. Yes. Where, at what point do you get the check? By the ambulance? But, but, uh, I said, that I'll, I'll have somebody take care of this. And <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't good enough. So I left them his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you just left the shoes at the table. His shoes table. and his wristwatch. Did you cry? Were you crying? Were you no, I didn't. I felt terribly sorry. I mean, I had to call up the daughters. And yeah, I was going to say, you hardly terrible. know his family or anything. I don't know his family. Yeah. Isn't it upsetting in a way? I mean, like here, you know, the older you get, the more death you see. Like all of a yeah. sudden you're on a date and the guy dies. Oh, and my friends are dropping like flies. I was going to say, how many friends do you oh. have left? And the horrible thing, Howard. <laughs> yeah. There's so few of them you have a chance to say goodbye and tell them how you hated them. <laughs> right. Do the, when you called his daughters to inform them, did yeah. they even know you were going out with him? Uh, I don't even know. Right. You I called up said, and uh, you go, hi, this is Jordan. They go, oh, cool. We're getting oh, a so call from Jordan. Yeah, they were probably excited. We Are you kidding? Did, did they say win? that? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, they be like, oh, it's Joe Rivers. Do you say to the daughters? Do I you said know? I was with your father and um, we're in that. Uh, where was it? Uh, uh, um, the, the hospital restaurant. now, uh, oh. P&S, Physicians and Surgeons, Columbia. I, and we're up in Columbia, and uh, he's very, very ill. Right. I didn't want to be the one mm. to say. Right, to break the news. He's, yeah. Yeah. He said, oh, did you ask his daughter if they know any single guys? No, but I did say, uh, look, I left a 20% tip. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. That's on your father's card. <laughs> what do you tip when they carry them out, you know? Do you, did you use his credit card or your own? His. His. How no, did you I, no, I said my own. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I don't want to really use. <laughs> you didn't reach it in Because then pocket. the family would fight with you. You gave 20% and the meal wasn't over. Do you think the daughters will try to keep a relationship with you now that he's gone? No. No, I think that would be ludicrous. You, did you, did go you to even have a conversation no. with no. them? Because you were the last one yes, to see him alive. Yes, of course. Of course. Right. And you're what very was he nice. talking? You spoke to them on the phone and you said, gee, what happened? They said to you, what happened? Yeah, and then they had a relative that lived in New York that came up and took Do care Do you recall of what you were talking about at the time of his death? Yes, probably a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> you were moving that fast <laughs> I was moving. Well, at this age, you have to. And what was the cause of death? A heart attack? Heart attack. Heart attack. Boy, that's something. Just I'm so sorry for you. I mean, you know, you're trying well, to f feel youthful and appear youthful, and then you're on a date and a guy yeah, drops dead. And I had just ordered this really good salmon meal. Right. I couldn't eat it. Well, what was what a it? Tribute. It was terrible. <laughs> Were you eating while they're carrying him out? Did you stop <laughs> eating right away? Finish. Well, I, I, you know. That's why I'm gaining weight. I like food. Did it? Did, did, were you sitting? Were you sitting there saying, sitting, "Oh shit, I can't finish my meal"? Because you must have been really hungry. I was sitting next to him on the banquet, so thank God, I didn't. Oh, so see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the stuff coming. He out. didn't even make a noise. And I he guess he was polite. rattling. I thought he was laughing. Right, you thought you were laughing at one of your jokes. <laughs> But, but, but what a tribute. He probably felt a little bad before, but he was going out with Joan Rivers, so he pulled himself together. Or when he really saw me in bright light, he, <laughs> he passed out. Passed out. <laughs> but, I mean, in a way, you know, I know when I, like, I'm like you, I try to stay thin. And when I go to dinner, like, I starve myself all day. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, I eat my lunch and that's it. I'm done. And then not till dinner. So then you finally get to dinner. You're probably hungry as hell. You're sitting there and you're like, oh, shit, I know this is shallow. I wish the guy hadn't died. I would wish I could have finished my meal. Oh, yes. And they had really popovers. Oh, yeah. did, you go, did you go out to eat after you, you took him to the hospital? No, when I went home, I did my own way of... And we all mourn in our own way. Right. <laughs> I mourned with a great steak. Yeah, you did. You cooked something. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine the next day, Melissa probably says, how was your date? <laughs> oh, he died. That one, I lost him. Oh, really? Another woman? No. no are you going to see him again? Father Tom. So. <laughs> yeah. he, he, really, he, altered, he, he left me, just like every other man. <laughs> well, I'm very, very sorry for you. I don't know if you heard when you were walking in. I was in the middle of doing an interview with CBS this morning, the, the CBS show. And they were asking me about Jay Leno yeah. and Conan O'Brien. You, more than anyone, must have feelings about this. You don't like Jay, do you? I am so happy he's back because I don't take Ambien anymore. Right. You can sleep through the I show. I can sleep right, right. You know, you get into bed and you know you're going to miss nothing. So you can shut your eyes. <laughs> right. And not worry. But what do you think? I, you know, here's I my, don't like. Go ahead. I, I, my take on it was that I thought that, you know, like, like when you had your falling out with NBC, you went over to Fox. Right. This guy has a lot of money. 
NBC fired him twice. When do, don't you have some pride and then go take your show to another network? He certainly could have. He, he, he sucks NBC's corporate balls till the till the day he dies. He's I, I, pathetic. I, I'm not a. He's a, not a nice theoretically. They say right. man. Right. That's to start with. And what's that great thing when he fired? Remember he got the Tonight Show and then he fired. His uh, manager that had cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, Helen Kushnick. Yeah. And she said to him, Jay, uh, he said, I'm firing you. You're not any good. And the the story is, she said, Jay, I fed you steak, but I never showed you how I killed the cow. Right. Which right. I love that. Mm-hmm. So, so he's a tough guy, and he wants that money, and he's going to get that money. Right. Now, do you feel bad for Conan O'Brien? Or oh, you... yeah. $40 million later. Oh, <laughs> boo-hoo. You don't feel bad for him. Oh, the luckiest unfunny white man in America. Do you feel he's unfunny? I don't find him funny. Maybe will, he's generational. Will you, uh, will you think that he'll go to Fox? Do you think he'll get another I show? I think he's already got the Fox deal that you they do. signed in the back of a car somewhere. No kidding. Oh, of course. No, he's sitting around doing nothing. But if he bombed and he didn't get any ratings, wouldn't that stick with him? Yeah, but they all forget he didn't get any ratings. They all forget that Leno didn't get any ratings. They're all screaming like these guys were doing great. Right. You it takes get, time. Darlings, Letterman's doing great. Right. Uh, uh, go watch. Uh, who else is on that? See, I watch movies. Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel, who I adore. Right. Jimmy Fallon, I think, is going to be very strong. Right. Uh, but uh, they're all screaming like these guys were doing well. These guys suck. That's why they fight. You know, uh, in, in a sense, when you had your late night show with Fox, they didn't give you enough time, did they? No, they gave me six months. And, they, you know, they said to me, I met the president afterwards. He said to me, it was never the ratings. Barry Diller hated Edgar. Edgar hated Barry Diller and Murdoch, and it was fought on that. It was a private thing. You were up probably to, against the the guy who was the king of late night, Johnny Carson. It and was going to take time for you to defeat him. But they told me Jamie Kellner, who was the president then, said to me, "We were always in the black with you. You always made money. Always made money for them." Hmm. He said right. we were never in the red. It wasn't about that. And I knew it wasn't about that. Believe me, now when you think about what these guys get in the ratings on late night, if they had your kind of ratings... They'd be tap dancing. They would wow. be the, the king of the late night. Yeah, but you who, never think of it. Howard, who looks back? You look I do. I don't. I, I never don't. look forward. I always look to the, <laughs> the, the hit past history. You are such a liar. That's the way I operate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I don't, I, I'm stuck in the past. You are such a liar. <laughs> All right, let me, let me find out about what recently happened to you on this plane, because I don't understand oh. it. You were detained. Where were you? Well, that's the old plate. I just had it happen again. <laughs> I what? Was, I what was, is it? I was held in Costa Rica. They took me off the last plane. That they, the next plane was four days later. Right. And they took me off because the woman, one woman, didn't understand that Joan Rivers, a.k.a. also known as Joan Rosenberg, is the same person. So... They kept me in Costa Rica with $100 in my pocket. <laughs> Good Lord. Why only $100? Because I had given all my money to Melissa. Right. Because I said, uh, I don't need cash. I'm going home. Here, in case you, they're stopping in Atlanta, here, take money. All right. Boy, that Melissa's lucky, huh? Yeah. You empty out your pockets and give to Melissa. I, yeah. Well, you You're have a children. goddess. I have children. And when your children get on a plane ahead of you and they're going to stop and you're not, you say, here, if you stop in Atlanta and you and Cooper, do you have cash? She said, no. I said, here. So, I, so I'm stuck there. This one <laughs> bitch just wasn't going to let me go. I mean, I look at you. I don't see terrorists. Terrorists? I mean, you're an older I'm woman. I'm a Jew. Yeah. What, I, what terrorist orders a kosher meal? I mean, <laughs> that would be brilliant, though, that, wouldn't it? I, I had a bagel strapped to my waist. But in all seriousness, when you want to get home and you're in some place, oh. why, why even in Costa Rica? I mean, that sounds horrible. Well, that was our vacation. It was beautiful. It was nice. But. This just happened now in Toronto. What happened in Toronto? I must look like a fucking terrorist. You, they pulled me out of line in Toronto. Not cute. I was coming home uh, Saturday. I was going to L.A. Go ahead. And they, they go through everything. I have 40 minutes to make the plane. Everything. They, and then you have to check this. You have to go back to the back of the line. You have to go. I kept saying, I'm not a terrorist. Right. So, 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 did they kick you off the plane? They finally put. No, I really. This time I start. I just stood there and cried. Oh my god. <laughs> they reduced Toronto you to tears. And airport. you're a pretty tough woman, but uh, right. I said, w- the only way I could bring your plane down is by whining. <laughs> Let me understand. That. Were they trying to keep you off the plane? Did they say to you, you, "I'm sorry, ma'am, you can't come on the plane"? We have to check everything. So okay, so they checked everything. But it was, but you know, it it's international, time. and we're now. I was there two hours ahead. It's now 40 minutes of playing time. And then there's that rule, international, one hour, or you don't go. Oh, so you would have missed the flight. I, I kept saying, 
What do you want? Do you think it's because you're famous and people want to touch you and interact with you? I, I think partially that. And I think partially it's about age. Right. When they don't recognize you. Who are you going to go after? You're going to go after a, a lady who's there by herself. I see my mother. Like, my mother goes to a movie theater where it's a rough neighborhood. And they, t they put her through the metal detector seven times. Yeah, they your go, mother. Th my mother. Like, that's, you know, come on. Stop it already. Yeah, I have this. Oh, I think it's my coat. I have this coat that I was pregnant with Melissa in. It's 38-year-old fur coat. That doesn't Sorry. sound like you. To wear a 38 year old. It looks coat. fabulous. Still looks great. God right. bless the uh, God bless Dennis Basso. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, so I think they see, and I use it like a blanket. It's right. 38 years old. Right. And I think they see the coat and they get angry. Because of the thinking, anti fur uh, yeah, industry. You want to say, these sables died before you were born. Right. It might as well wear. Do you it. really think the security people are pro. I or anti fur? I think, think they're, they're anti quote unquote rich. Ri yeah, they see <laughs> yeah. a rich old they oh, see I a rich old see. woman rich they're gonna, in a fur and they're gonna Joe teach her a lesson. They right. think it's real. Uh, right. Let's take that old bitch out of line. Uh, Why is Okay, it, spread them. It, it, it just seems to be happening to you over and over, over again. And over it's again. very upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, really. Um so so now And then they put me on with children behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you hate kids. I hate children. I'm what sorry. I hate noisy children. kids on the planet. And they're boring. I know about Spongebob. Shut up. <laughs> Don't tell me about Spongebob. I know about him. And you know, he's gay. Here you're a woman who had kids and everything, but it's just hard to tolerate other people's kids. Other people's ugly children, and they think they're attractive. <laughs> All right. What about the Christmas cards, Howard? And those horrible families keep getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they send you pictures. And then you say, is that a new child or a dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's very Whoa. upsetting. By the way, we were having a good laugh the other day. We listened to this TV show, the Ghost Stories. Oh, yes. Where you whip out that story about a ghost living in your apartment. True. It's not true. It's Listen true. to me. Why don't you take a camera out and, and videotape the ghost? And then you would be the, the, the biggest thing on television. Why, why would you not do that if you see a vision of a ghost in your apartment? Look, I'm getting quiet because I'm thinking, this yeah. is not stupid. I am very comforted with her. Listen to me. She's still there? She's there. I was at something. that place the other day. I was wondering, if, does the ghost live here? I would here? have taken you upstairs. Really? I love Joan, Mrs. Spencer. you're one of the oh smartest people I know. You're a <laughs> rational person. I want you to look at me seriously. Seriously. You're telling me there's such a thing as ghosts. Yeah. Okay, so you're not afraid to die because you now know there's an afterlife. You've met a ghost. Uh, I'm not afraid to die because it's... It's almost time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Joan, listen to me. You but, could have real friends. You don't need imaginary friends. <laughs> You're still yes, popular. Yes, I do. You do? Oh, that's so sad. Should I come visit you? When was the last time you came to my apartment? I don't want to go one there. one of many. That's true. Nobody visits you anymore. Nobody visits me anymore. Take me through. I know you've been through this a million times, uh, this TV show. I felt you did it because, listen, it's a TV show. Why not? You go on, you get paid, and this and that. I don't believe you believe there is a ghost. I had it exercised. I understand that. You brought in a woman from Haiti. Right. No, I brought in my, my Sally Ann Glassman from New Orleans. You are kidding me. No. How much did you pay her to get rid of Nothing. your Nothing. That's how you know she's good. Uh, listen to me. You've gone insane. <laughs> you've, gone, was, you've literally gone insane. This was 14 years ago when okay. I first moved into the apartment. You came into the apartment. I want to understand everything. Because uh, I, want you to, and I, I want you to be straight with me. Yeah. Because I would love to believe there were ghosts. I'd be thrilled to meet a ghost. You know why? Because that means I'm going to go on. I'm yes, going to have a life. Yes. And ghosts, I have my friend Tommy Cochran, who is now in my country house in Connecticut. Oh, you've got another one. The guy who died, uh, the gay guy. Yeah. Who was in bed with my you. my best friend, who I adored. He's living in your house. He's in my house in Connecticut. He's been seen by four different people. And I <laughs> am so Don't happy. you think Joan and her friends are insane? <laughs> well, what are they going to say when Joan says, did you see Tommy? Of course they're going to say yes. You know what's yes. even worse? My luck, I'm going to die and spend eternity in Joan Rivers' apartment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll be like, I can't believe I'm, 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 I'm watching I'm Joan Rivers undressing. The only thing is, you, you'll hate the music because it's all show too. <laughs> oh, my God. That'll be hell. That'll be hell. All right, let me understand something. You walk into your apartment. This was when it was being renovated. Yeah. All right. You walked in, and I know you heard noises, and it got the cold. dog wouldn't come in. dog wouldn't come in. Whatever. That, there's all probable explanations. Yeah. I want to know right now for my audience, you saw Mrs. Spencer? I felt Mrs. Spencer. Okay. I have never seen Mrs. Spencer. And what about your friend Tommy Cochran? Have you seen him? I have not seen him, but others have seen him. But he left something that I found. Uh, he said, tell Joan uh, there's something that she's looking for. 
And it's down in the basement. And what, who did he who, tell this? How did he told get this, this message? I have a lady who works for me who's a psychic. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> how much money are they cleaning you out of? Ay vey. What is the matter with you? You're so lonely. She said, <laughs> Go ahead. You need a date. I'm going to hook you up. Don't worry. We're going to help you out. Let's get him a physical first. Now I see how serious the it is. The spirits hmm. get through dinner, how? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Joan, this is so he sad. Gets through dinner. <laughs> Tommy Cochran. Tommy I Cochran could, said, "I could. I had put his ashes right. to sprinkle in Connecticut. Okay, way up in my attic. Go ahead. And they were left there, and we couldn't find them, and couldn't find you them. Couldn't, couldn't find this man's ashes. Couldn't find the ashes. And ashes, you know. Yeah, I mean, you had. You knew they were in the attic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, he said to this lady, uh, I "Tell her look in the basement. This thing in the basement." And I went down the basement. There were the ashes. And so. Nobody knew what was in them and how they got that. So the how special thing. could this guy have been to you if you lost his ashes? <laughs> I mean, really? Well, I put them up there. I don't know how he. But you're Somebody always asking them. for. Some, my mother died, and I was in California, and my mother was in New York. And I said, "Give me a sign. Give me a sign." And I bought my mother a little. A lot of these things happen. Right? A little um, gold uh, fish. Right. And I opened my medicine chest in California, and there was the fish on the shelf. So she moved the fish from New York to California. Your mother. There it was. But you've never seen a ghost. Seen no. Fe- My dogs know when Mrs. Spencer comes and visits me. All right, me. Mrs. Spencer. So you have That's to watch name. the dogs to the see dogs, if she's in the room. Uh, absolutely, you know, they know when Mrs. Spencer's there. <laughs> My God. I know, uh, it's great. Oh, Mrs. Howard, Spencer is on the air. Till, uh, I know, yes, Mrs. Wait Spencer. Wait a minute, why not Spike? How come Spike isn't... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> there, oh, he there he is. is. <laughs> I hear him. I hear him. <laughs> you are out of control. Did you get into a fight with Victoria Beckham, Spice Girl? I or? just dislike her so much. Wait, now she's a fashion plate. She's into her appearance. I oh, would think you would click with her. Uh, she is so... You know how we travel a lot, all of us in this mm-hmm. business? Right. And certain people, I always say... Did you to the the limo driver? Did you like so and so? What? Who is the nicest person you had in the car? And it's always different people. Right. And I don't give a shit what they say. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. Very. Then I was like, so who didn't you like? And uh, hers is one of the names that constantly comes. Oh, Posh Spice. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, the one that's married. Uh, she's just. You know when someone gets too much money and thinks it's entitlement, so they're nasty to the people that can't answer back. Have you met this woman? or you I've just never t- had the... Probably, she's so thin, I probably didn't see her. You dislike her because... I dislike what I hear about it. You she's don't like, yeah, very rude. You've heard bad things. Uh, also, I just want to say something that uh, we should mention, which I think is a triumph for you. I thought you were one of the best things on the E! Network when you and Melissa worked together yes. there. Joan is returning as the host of the E! Fashion Police. Now, how did this You're come about? Kidding. You were fired by them? No, no, we quit. Everyone forgets. We right. quit. They That's wouldn't right. give us any money. They had right. no money. Right. And then they gave Ryan Seacrest $20 million. So right, right. Somehow I don't, they found some money. Yeah, I don't forget that. Right. Yeah. But anyhow. You're not I, fucking Ted Harbert, are you? Is that no, how you got no, this? No. Okay, right, right, go ahead. Yes. God knows because he saw. <laughs> You saw this guy die. Right. No one wants to date you now. <laughs> no one wants to date me It's now. unlucky. But go ahead. How did you end up back on So here? they called up and they said, would you like to do the fashion police, which is the day after the Oscars? So it's not the red carpet. Thank God. Yeah. Right. So now you, and they said you can tell the truth. You don't just stand there and say to poor Meryl Streep, don't you look wonderful? And then you think to yourself, oh, my God. The reason your show is terrific on there, because I always watch it, is not because whether you're into fashion or not, because you told the truth. They told the truth. For example, you said Edie Falco, for example, the woman who was on The Sopranos, you said her outfit is horrible. It's what everyone was thinking. And yet she got very angry with you. You're yeah. going to create a lot of enemies, aren't you? Yeah. You create a lot. Of en- but my job isn't, my job on Fashion Police is to report what they're looking like. Right. That Drew Barrymore looked like she was fucking the, the Pillsbury Doughboy. Right. Because that's what makes it interesting. That's what's that's the why truth. Simon Cowell works on American Idol and these other right. people are boring. You're you're telling the truth. Like I'm looking at you now. You're very well put together today. You got a green leather jacket, you got the, you look good. So you have a, a sense of style and you're gonna be honest and say, Boy, I watch the Academy Awards. And this woman looks like a, a bus hitter. Right, exactly. Or this woman looks like going, you know, uh, like she was reading Vogue upside down. You know? Right. <laughs> and also you're on a bit of a roll. Not only did you get hired back by E. Yeah. And Melissa's you're... producing the show, which is interesting. Melissa won't be on it. She doesn't want to be on it. She wants to produce this one. Because she thought... has her own production company. You don't want to work with her anymore, do you? Oh, I love working with her. Rather work with her than anybody. So didn't you say to her, I want you on the fashion Yeah, and she please? said, I don't want to do it. 
I want to produce this one. We have a reality show coming on. Melissa drags you down. That's what you're oh, telling. Yeah. That's what you're no, telling we people. We have privately. a reality show. What is this reality show? It's called Mother uh, Knows Best. Uh huh. And it's uh, which is true. I'm living in Melissa's house while I'm working out there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. At least Mrs. Spencer won't be there. Yeah, It'd be great if Mrs. Spencer showed up. <laughs> she gets along with Mrs. Spencer. Right. Would you have Mrs. Spencer on the Fashion Police? Will she talk about what outfit she likes? Very gossiper. <laughs> what will you do? And so you will, you will do the reality show, and also your other TV show has been renewed. How'd you get so rich? How'd you get so rich? Yeah. So you're doing well. Yeah, Why, thank you, God. February, uh, uh, March, no, May 5th we you're, start. You're like a mogul. Good. Do not, any of these shows pay you? No. Nothing. Not, you know, nothing. Is E paying you some money now? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, uh, like, Ryan Seacrest got it all. Is it negligible money? Seriously. Seriously. Right? It's shit money. It's shit money. So where are you making the money? In the uh, stand the concerts. And the jewelry and the, and, the and stuff. Thank God for the jewelry. Thank God for the concerts. All right. Thank God you don't have to... Because she's got a huge overhead. Yeah. But I, but I love the work, Howard. Right. Love the work. Well, he, you were asking Speaking, me if he was going to retire. Why don't you talk to him about this? What, you, you, don't you dare. We have to talk off privately. What do you mean? What, who wants to talk privately? Yeah. I'm not coming over there. Don't you ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You sit with Mrs. Spencer. Mrs. Spencer. Have a don't cup of tea. Don't you dare retire. Wh- wh- why and not? do what? Be, listen to me. You love I, what you do. I'm not like you. I don't love what I do. It's torture for me. And I've got to tell you something. I love sitting at home. Hanging Looking out. I like to play chess. <laughs> I like to watch movies. I like to do these kinds of fun things. I don't need this. No, this is a big wait, 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 wait. You love to do those things because when you do them, they're wonderful to right. do. Right. Like dessert. And listen, if I get bored in two years, I'll c- approach someone and say, listen, uh, I need to come back. I'm, I can't function without work. I'm going to tell you one name. Jack Parr. They can't come no, back. Jack Parr was moronic. Jack Parr finally got a show. He worked at it for a year or two when he left. That was too soon. I've done this for 30 years. And you're wonderful. Don't. I'm begging you. you Don't know, do Deborah it. Deborah Norville wanted to quit. I said, you hold on to the ladder. When they cut off your hands, you link it around with your <laughs> elbows. I don't when mean When that's it. gone, it's I like Monty Python. Hold on with your teeth. I don't, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but I don't get bored. I don't have to talk to ghosts in my house. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And I mean that. Um, now, uh, by the way, I want to advise you. I know you're trying to sell your apartment. Don't go around telling people there's a ghost in there. That would keep me away from buying it. Yeah. Oh, understand what I'm saying? You know who came to look at my apartment? Who? Hmm. Valentino. Ah, Valentino. And talks and sp- all he says, uh, and has the dog with him. Ruff, 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 a little right. stupid dog. Right. And he's, you know, black from the suntan. <laughs> <laughs> like a horrible <laughs> right, Florida. Right, right, big right. Dog. And he's going like, <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't buy your apartment? No. Nah. Nah. Kitchen. You got a beautiful apartment. Now, Robin was recently at your apartment. Yes, she yeah. was. Uh, what was the occasion? It was some book or something? I don't know, but some things are missing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> what, what, what? They had hidden everything. They didn't trust this it's crowd a, It's an antiques. At all. It's filled with antiques. I Nothing remember that. Nothing was there, Howard. They had moved everything out. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes. No. It was a cocktail party. There wasn't a stick of furniture or She's a knick knack I just want to know. Was there, a, nose was, growing. was there any food there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, they had past oh. hors d'oeuvres, lots of, uh, you know, champagne. Was Boy, See, your wife would have understood what I served that time. I went You're... to the worst party at Joan's house. <laughs> the chicest hors d'oeuvres you've ever It was seen. a good cause. You know, when Joan was hosting a party, she had there a woman who was dying of AIDS. It was actually very sad, but there were a lot of celebrities there. And she comes out, no food. You're drinking. <laughs> they and, like, hid the food. They had, they it had, was behind they, one they of had, those fake doors. They had a little sandwich with the bread cut off, <laughs> right. the, the, the ends cut off. And I'm like, what is this? Oh, this is what the Goyam do. A, I go, I'm not Goyam. <laughs> Crest sandwich, she yeah, said. Yeah, Joan was. Joan thought she was going to be Goyim. Speaking um, of Jews, I'm on a new reality show with rabbis, America's top moil. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You're on fire. All right, let's 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 review what what you're saying here today. Let's yes. get down to the yes. plugs, which yes. turns you on. This will get you wet. <laughs> you, be prepared. See Joan Rivers host E's Fashion Police. My prediction will be the E will incorporate her now more into their programming. This is the beginning. They would be smart to do that. That's right. They would be jo- smart to do that. But Joan's a good link with them. It's a good match. I love them. Uh, and I like your attitude. You know, on everybody there. else is trying to capture that magic of the red carpet. Nobody yeah. ever did it as well. In other words, you will look at the women on the Academy Awards, and then the next day you will look at their outfits and say, "Good Lord, uh, yeah. who dresses All right, these who, people? Yeah. Who did it right, and who um, did who uh, messed it up completely?" Yeah. And that's the fun. And you will have yeah. a couple of gay guys sitting there with you, and they'll you comment, too. "Oh, look at that dress; it's horrible. I wouldn't be caught dead in that." 
And we have uh, Chloe Kardashian is on, and Juliana's oh, on. Yeah, so oh. it's all good, Jay. All right. It's all happening for you. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. All good. You're on fire. Thank God. Yeah, and you look good. Uh, so, listen. Are we uh. having anything done? Is it time for anything? Yeah, it's, what's next? Barbara Walters asked me that. I said, as soon as it's time, I don't know, my plastic surgeon died. I don't, I don't is that right? You outlived your plastic surgeon? Plastic surgeon. <laughs> the one guy left who could do something oh, for you. Oh, my goodness. Um, is it true you're now painting in your free time? I always paint, yeah. I didn't know I remember that. she yeah. went with the, the prince and, and Camilla, and yeah. they were painting. See, Can you paint? Are you any no. good? I t Howard, in 12 <laughs> years of painting, not one friend has asked for a picture. I don't want one. No, and I'll take them into my studio, you know, in Connecticut, and it's all filled with my paintings. Nobody says, oh, can I have that? You know, it's Nobody. funny. I've had friends give me paintings. And what I do is I have a room in my house, I keep them in, and when they come, I hang them up on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, oh, don't give me, don't give me your artwork. Right. That's, and don't make jewelry for me. Do me, could you paint my bathroom? <laughs> I, I would do such a job. <laughs> All right, listen, Joan, you've said enough. Time for your nap. I'm going to put you back in mothballs, and we'll take you out when you're ready. You're on you fire. So I love you. You're terrific. Joan. I love him. How is it to be back? I love him. I love him. I will do this show anytime, any place. I only person I will get up at six o'clock in the morning and get into hair and makeup for Howard Stern. <laughs> but Joan, you seemed a little concerned about uh, what Howard's going to do when his contract's up. I worry up. about him because he's so brilliant and he's such a workaholic, and he thinks it's going to be great to sit home and sit on the beach. That will work for three weeks, and then he will go mad. So, what's your advice? Just to stay Take with a it? Vacation for a month. But no, you're coming back. Of course he's not going to go. I'll kill him.